welcome to Daily Hope, the Behind the Music edition. This weekend, we're going to be having a guest pastor, and he's going to be talking to us about some of the parables. Two of them that we're focusing on come from Luke chapter 15. If you go there and you read, there's two stories about things that were lost. There was a lost sheep and there was a lost coin. And both times, the owners of these items consider them so valuable that they search and they search and they search until they found them. And not only did they stop then, they called everybody around, their friends and their neighbors, and they said, hey, I've found my sheep, I've found my coin, come and rejoice with me. And so if you wanna hear more about that, I invite you to either be here in services this weekend or join us online to learn more about that story. But as I was reading the text and thinking about the searching and the finding and the lost and things, musically what came to mind for me is a fugue. A fugue is a musical form and it's, you can follow the etymology back to the Latin word fuga, which means to chase or sort of to search, to try and find this thing. And so a fugue has multiple parts, multiple voices that sing kind of the same tune. Now, if you've ever sung a uh, round, like row, row, row your boat, and then your friend joins in, row, row, row your boat, but you're not singing together, and you have three or four friends, and you all join in, and you're going around and around in circles, and you're doing this round. That's kind of what a fugue is. Each voice comes in at a different time singing the same melody called the subject. Now, sometimes it can be three voices, sometimes it can be four. In the organ where you have feet, it can even be five sometimes. It just gets more complicated the more voices that you add. But three or four, pretty standard. And the one I'm going to be sharing with you today is four voices. So three in the hands, one in the pedal. And so when I was sitting in Austria, my professor Gustel said to me, music needs to have text that's how our brains work a lot of the time is by thinking about words and things and so he would ask me to add text to things especially to something like a fugue subject to help me remember and make it more important every time that it would come in so for the sake of things today these are the words that we're going to use okay where is my sheep where is my coin so i want you i'm going to play this now and musically every time you hear that come back i want you to sing those words in your head here we go you ready Ready? Where is my sheep? Where is my coin? Now you can take it longer because this melody is a little bit longer, right? Okay. Rejoice with me, I found my sheep or coin, whichever words you want to use. So that's our subject. You're going to hear it first in the tenor, and then you're going to hear it in the alto, and then you're going to hear it in the soprano. So it's going up. And then last but not least, you're going to hear it come through in the pedal. So have those words in your head as you hear the subject enter and just listen for a little bit. Where is my sheep? Where is my coin? This is the searching part. Did you hear it come in every time? Where is my sheep? Where is my coin? Did you hear it every time that came in? It's pretty cool. Now there's something else, and this was actually the first part that I thought of as I was thinking about the searching for the lost things, is the development section of a fugue. So that's kind of in the middle between where you have the subjects that enter and the end where it all resolves and we're rejoicing. In the middle is where we're searching, this development section where it kind of goes between different keys. You can't quite find the melody. You don't know where the tonal center is, <sighs> but finally we do get back to fine. But for right now, let's, let's do some searching. So 
So just kind of winding around, kind of winding around. And then at the end, when we get to the end of this fugue, rejoice with me because we have found our sheep, we have found our coin. And of course, the deeper meaning of that, meaning that Jesus doesn't want any of us to be lost. He's not, he's not willing that any of us should perish. And so he's going to search. Even if he has 99 safely in the fold, he's coming for the one. So think about that as I play you the rest of this fugue. This is from Mendelssohn's Sixth Sonata. And I hope you enjoy learning a little bit about the musical form, the fugue. And I'll be back with you again next week. <laughs>